Hmm. Oh, now it's carrying two. I thought it I thought it only stacked up to one. Hey, we'll take it. Beautiful. Oh, the tarp helps with that? Oh, oh, oh. When it said increases the amount of water collected each day, I thought that meant that it um, increased the rate of it. But it's, it says amount right there. Well, that's cool. Heck yeah, dude. All right, we love to see it. I think I have to plant these up here, right? Let's see. Let's clear out a little spot up here real quick. Well, that sucks. Uh, let's do it over here. Can I wrench this? Maybe I can wrench it. When it shows the down arrow, does that mean I'm not using the right tool? Is that what that means? What, what does that down arrow mean? It just means the health is going down. That's it? Okay. Oh, it means you're downgrading the block. Okay. Okay. Weird. Whatever. Um, How do we do this? Let's see. Can I just say how smart it is from the devs that they made it so it doesn't make this super annoying dinging, dinging sound when you're out of the inventory? That's actually really smart. GG, duders. Let's do some coffee and some corn, I think, to start with. All right, chat, how does farming work in seven days to die? Do I need to water this stuff? Do I need to, do I need to do anything? That's it, we're done. Well, that's super easy. Don't waste your boxes on mushrooms. They can grow anywhere. Oh, jerk mushrooms. I'm gonna take one of my boxes. Okay, um, let's put some pumpkins in. Just leave it? Well, a little late for that now, isn't it? Uh, Emma sat some. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Oh, that is a good point. You should probably try to stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. Uh, it helps. Yeah, you don't want to get too overwhelmed. Absolutely. Mushrooms grow in the dark. Rest of plants in sunlight. Okay. So I'm going to put these... We have to get the seed back. That's cool. I'm just going to plant those down there. See if that works. I don't know. It's kind of dark there sometimes. All right. Let's go put all this away. We can move this stuff back down. Ding. 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 this back Get you back oh we gotta grow some yucca yucca okay looking good we could do we have time for a quest maybe we can do a quest or two before the next day could be good to get some resources and stuff maybe a little bit more food and everything I think we're gonna do that, chat. I think we're gonna go do some uh, some questing. Let's bring wow! this real quick. Rage quitters with a twenty-five dollar tip. I swear, Koh is the coolest streamer out there. Well, I love how he invests time and money into new systems that make our experience cooler and more accessible. Kudos to you, sir. Don't get eaten. Smile. <laughs> 
Well, thank you, Rage Quitters. With the $25 tip to the mod team, I am thrilled you feel that way, my dude. Thank you. Uh, the, the team here works really hard to try to deliver a unique experience to you, and I'm sorry that I have to ruin it with my general boringness. But on that general uh, uh, thing there, um, yeah, dude, the stuff that they come up with is incredible, and the stuff that they make is incredible, so. Um, I really appreciate it, and I think I speak for all of us when I say we're glad you're enjoying it, and that's awesome. Thank you. <clears throat> Zeus! Nice Kobitar. Whatever's popping up. Unless you didn't have one, in which case you need to make one. Yeah. Oh, little little note, by the way. Don't buy the pop your Kovatar on the screen thing unless you have a Kovatar. Yeah, that's... Yeah. There you go. Okay, so uh, let's put this back. Uh, mm -mm. A, lot, a lot of people are like, that seems obvious, but at the same time, the Kovatar system only exists here and there's no barriers on Twitch to make people not buy it. So unfortunately, there's no way we can do that. Zeus said, whoops, I just did it, my bad. No, and that's fine, that's fine. I mean, again, we we unfortunately can't edit Twitch's system, but we use that system because uh, if we had a proper API, then we could, you know, do this a lot more intelligently. But the way that we have to do it is, uh, makes it so we can't do much on Twitch's side and that stinks. So I, I can't like, Put up a barrier that says you can't buy this because you don't have a Kovatar or anything like that. So, yeah, maybe next time. Maybe next time. <clears throat> Barry, yeah, we'll we'll keep that internal. The commands aren't firing again. Oh, and also, Barry, did we fix the Kole? Did we figure out what was going on with that? Mm -mm. Hippie 80, the good stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do, do, do. Oh, careful. I don't think Kole works, chat. Yeah, I think I, Barry is troubleshooting it. For some reason, it's broken. It's been broken for a long time. <laughs> Barry's just had other more important things to do. Oh, we need more wood. Let's get some wood. Mm -mm. Do, 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 do. It is working? It worked earlier? No, man. It didn't work on this side at all. Yep. You guys saw it pop out? Wait, you actually saw it? Barry, does it sort of work? Like, I don't, okay, so apparently maybe some of it works? I don't know. I, did, I don't get any of my pop-ups that didn't show in chat. Like, oh my lord. Well, here you go, damn. You know, the, it it doesn't have a sound. The thing that's missing for me is I, I got a notification in the chat that will not be named when it would go off. So I, I never see that and I don't get a notification when it slides out on the screen. I'm not staring at that. I never watch me, I'm terrible. So it it's, you know, so the only thing I can rely on is what's in the chat that will not be named. And that's been missing for months. Yeah, months. Mm -mm. Months and months, unfortunately. All right. Looking good, looking good. There we go. Speaking of months, six months sub? Heck yeah, dude. Appreciate it. Okay, space is going to be far more tenable than the other one. Drop it right there. Oh, well, fine. Over there is fine, too. Uh, where's my bike? It's over my base, isn't it? Uh, let's go get it. Let's go get it. Actually, you know what? At 300 away? Nah, we'll just run there. We're probably about that far from the bike. You know what? I could totally do this military area now, couldn't I? Let's do that. Let's spend the rest of the day completely clearing out this military base. I can get us some good weapons and stuff for the uh, the night too.
Cool. We get we're good on food. We're good on water. We got some meds. Like this is a good time to do it. Try to find the hidden bunker. I like the sound of that. I do like hidden bunkers. We will take a look. First, we're gonna get this uh, air thing here. We got plenty of room, right? Yeah, we got plenty of room. Wow! JD Blaze with the twenty dollar tip to the mod team. Just because I want to. Why, thank you, JD Blaze. I really appreciate that. Thanks a lot, dude. Thank you. Hey, Dr. Zyman, have a great time out there, man. Be safe. Be safe. Speaking of Turkey, oh my God. If you live in Turkey, you sent a badass to the Olympics. There, there's this dude that's doing uh, uh, marksmanship for Turkey. And like most of the people that go there look like freaking space Marines because they wear like these crazy things. And they have all these gear on and these like weights hanging off them and all this stuff. This Turkish guy walks in in a t-shirt and like normal glasses. And this dude wins silver at the Olympics. And they ask him, they're like, why don't you use any of like the, the tools that all of your opponents do? And he just goes, because I'm a natural. I don't need all that. What the f man? Who says that? Who goes to the Olympic and wins silver and says something like, I'm, it's just because I'm a natural. That's why. He's 51 years old. He's not like some spry king. This is like, this is, oh my God. Dude. Yeah, like my Lord. My Lord, man. What what an absolute boss. The bostitude on that gentleman. Unbelievable. Yeah, you should look him up. I mean, the dude, the dude just seems like a total badass. I love it. I absolutely love it. The world needs more people like that. <laughs> his name is, and I, I, excuse me if I pronounce this improperly, but I think his name is Yusuf Dikek. D-I-K-E-C. That is not a name I'm used to saying. It may be Dikek or Dikek. I'm not sure. But anyway, that's awesome. And more power to that dude. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to want to get some honey before tomorrow as well. We do not have, I don't think, any antibiotics. That being said, if we clear out this area. Oh, tell me something. If I clear out a military base at night, is it going to be harder? Like, like are, are harder zombies going to be there at night or do harder enemies just spawn around the world at night? Yes, it will be. Okay. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Why can I never find honey in stumps? I've cut down like 20 and never get any. It's very rare. I think at one point we cut down like seven in a row and didn't get any honey. So it is, it is rare. Yeah. Honey is really good and really important. So I, I don't think, especially early game, they don't want you like piling up on it. Hell yeah, dude. Okay. Tier five with an iron spear is very brave. We're doing it live, buddy. I don't have time not to be. Mm-hmm. Skatchmos says, I don't know how an American doesn't win in shooting. I'll take some redneck from the hills of West Virginia with a 22. he He's been shooting since age of five. It's going to be more accurate than those guys. It's funny you say that. So Americans love to shoot. We love our guns. Absolutely. But funny enough, loving something doesn't mean you're good at it. That's just the reality of life. So, um, yeah, you can love something. You can even do it all the time. Doesn't mean you're good at it. Womp womp. Yeah. I mean, look at me in streaming. Doing this every day for 12 years. Perfect example. Yep. You can't just say things like that. Hey, don't get me wrong. America, America has some amazing marksmen. But I think it's more... 
I think I think it's more an equa uh, an, equa an equation of guns not being tools, guns being fun. That's the American thing. Not necessarily us being good at it, more of them being a, a, a normal part of life. Yeah. So unfortunately, that doesn't equate to good aim <laughs> as we would have liked in the Olympics to have that have me meant. But yeah. Mm. Oh, well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a good point. This is a perfect example. Yeah. <laughs> Look at driving. Some people have been driving for 50 plus years. They can still be bad drivers. In fact, in fact, there are studies that say in some ways you become a worse driver the more you drive. There are things that you become normalized to and over time you stop paying as much attention to, which can lead to more reckless situations. So, I mean, there's <laughs> not everything you just get better at over time as you use it. So an interesting little thing there to think about. Uh, let's see. Oh, always check our turlets. Get that sweet, sweet toilet water. Which reminds me of our, fall what was it? Fallout New Vegas playthrough? The Toilet Ninja? Oh God, that was a fun. We need to do another playthrough like that sometime. That was really cool. We basically, we went to the community for, for our Fallout franchise playthrough where we played all of them before 4 came out. And we asked you guys to submit your best role play builds and um, we did some crazy builds. Like one of the builds was my cat, so I couldn't touch water in Skyrim. Uh, we did a we did a drug addicted ninja, so I could only use ninja weapons. It was a Fallout playthrough. I was a germophile, so I loved anything dirty and had to fixate on it. And and I was a drug and I was drug addicted. So anytime we looted a drug, I had to take it immediately. And uh, that was an interesting playthrough. <laughs> that that led to some unexpected situations. Looting drugs and boss fights became kind of hilarious. Or in hard areas. Oh. Don't like you. Nice headshot, though. a little safe here since we're low on stamina so you're basically saying you played yourself i did yeah i done played myself chat so much toilet paper i don't want toilet paper i want toilet water god uh, man these places are like super looted yeah there's there's not a single thing in here to loot what's going on here man i don't got time for this Let's maybe try going in, like, the main building, which is going to be horrifying. Man, I got, like, total stalker vibes going on right now. Like, having a building that large to crawl through and loot is really cool. Oh, my. Oh, my God. I don't think I got him. Oh, great. Oh, you're not dead. Another thing I really like about this game, zombie loot is really meaningful. Like it doesn't happen often. But when a zombie drops a loot, like, you know it's going to be decent. And that's cool. They, like, really cut down on the... They kind of centralize the looting a little bit, which I, which I like. It makes it, it makes it much more meaningful when you see that bag drop. Which was definitely a design decision and one that I really like. Am I done with PoE? I'm, I think I'm pretty much done with PoE. I mean, my, my goal for this league's PoE was to go in and experience the mechanic and, and explore it. And I did. And I love it. <laughs> so, the problem is I don't really have any other goals for this league. I don't really want to, like, kill any Ubers or anything. So, I, I might be done. But at the same time, I'm still enjoying playing it. So, I may go back and just dive in at some point. Yeah. We'll see.
Now that we're doing uh, more stamina management, this is getting a lot more palpable. A lot more palatable, I should say. This is becoming much more attractive to do. What we're doing here. Bro, they locked you in with food? That was super nice of them. Jeez. All right, let's do some pumpkin bread. Pumpkin bread is only 12 food? It seems really low for how much it takes to make. Uh, let's see. Knife guy. Any hidden stuff in here? I don't think so. Okay. Let's keep moving. So we have two little outbuildings there. We got a gyro. Can I actually just like break down this gyrocopter? Oh, there's a basement too. Okay. Maybe I can wrench this thing and get some parts or something. Oh, shoot. Stamina's a little low. That guy's down. Great. We're good. Oh, dude. Oh, I think I was standing on the railing or something. Oh, that stunk. I don't know what that thing is, but I don't like it. Jerk. How are you not dead, bro? What? Are you... Are you special? No, 937. Ugh, he had like parts hanging off him. Save ammo for tough fights, it's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> that guy was definitely, that, that one we killed was definitely a little bigger. Okay. All right, Chad, here we go. Let's see what the heck's in here. Hmm. I'll just pick these up for now. We're just going to loot everything until we fill up our inventory and then we'll start being a bit more judicious. Get everything open. That leads us back to the same room. Yep. Oh, God. I need to get some more uh, AOE kind of style weapons. Hell yeah, dude. We also got a level. Ooh, side boob to the extreme. Let's go this way. Beautiful. Oh, herbal antibiotics. That's new, and we might be able to make those. Let's take a quick look here. Oh, just kidding. Oh my god, what is going on? Herbal means they don't work. Nice. Am I going to build a base in this game? Oh, we've already built a couple. More ammo? We do! We've been getting ammo here. Beautiful. Okay. Let's keep moving. Maybe the guys in bulletproof vests are more resistant to bullets? What? I don't, I don't know. That sounds a little weird. Why? Why would... Um...
No, I have been trying to shoot them in the head. I'm assuming that their exposed face means that it's not armored, and I haven't seen anyone with armored headgear yet. So, I'm I'm assuming that it's okay, but maybe that's just wildly inaccurate. Yeah. To be fair, I am generally wildly inaccurate, so that would line up and be pretty on brand, to be honest with you. Man, whatever these blocks are. Are these concrete blocks? Those look like something we might want to get. Oh my god, dude. What is happening? I wonder if a zombie on fire, like, damages the zombies around them. No, it doesn't? Oh God, oh, what happened? That was weird, that was really weird. This is fine. Okay, we'll take it. 